Hello, everybody! Hello, hello! Welcome to the stream. I was gonna go live like two minutes ago, and then I realized I didn't post in any of um, the Discord, so I went to do that, and now I'm live. Hello, everybody! Welcome to the stream! Um, I don't know th if it is very... It looks like it is very noticeable that I literally had a popsicle right before this, so uh, the reason that the inside of my mouth looks very blue uh, is because I had a popsicle. <laughs> I had a bomb pop right before stream started. Hello everybody! Craft Focus, Resident Bard, Liz Doodles, it's great to see you all. And Craft, thank you so much for the 14 months! I really, really appreciate it. And yes, the reason that this stream is so responsible is because Ash is here. Uh, for, sh for sure, for sure. She's been following me around all day, making sure that I'm responsible. Uh, except for the fact that, uh, I didn't eat food, uh, until I needed to. But, don't worry, I have eaten. I got a bomb pop, I got water, and I watered my plants. So all of the responsibilities checked off before stream starts today. Um, this changes the equation! <laughs> yes, uh, bomb pop was very important to, uh, ju to my responsibility today. It was very, very important. But hello everyone! Welcome to the stream! Liz, I hope you have a very good time playing D&D tonight. That sounds like it's gonna be a whole heck of a lot of fun. And, um, I hope you all are having a very, very good Tuesday. Uh, sorry for the late start to the stream. Again, I, uh, Poopoo, uh, Poopoo RS, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the brigade. Hello, hello. Um, but, uh, because of the late start, uh, I, dude, it's a late start because I forgot to eat. And that's, that's what I have to say on that. I decided that eating was more important. So, uh, we're gonna probably have a, possibly a slightly shorter stream, but that is okay, because we're gonna finish the lovers today. No, no, no matter how, what the length of this stream is, we are going to finish the lovers today. It is happening, and I will not let it, I will not let this card go to another stream. We're finishing it today, and that is that. You've heard it here first, folks. Um, but before we get started, I just have a, f a few very, very quick announcements at the top of the stream. Uh, so, uh, hey, Full Heart Art, welcome on in! Hello, hello, how's your Tuesday going? Uh, but, uh, you know them, you love them, it's announcements. Uh, as you can see at the very bottom of the screen, we've got a new sub goal for the month. It is our second week of fundraising for this sub goal. If we hit 75, uh, if we hit 75 subscribers, by June 22nd, I will be doing, I will be drawing a new coloring page for you all to color, uh, um, on stream. Uh, I do not know what the content of the coloring page is gonna be, uh, I just know that it's gonna be commun a community-generated thing. You guys will get to vote on what it is, and then I will draw whatever you guys tell me to draw, and it'll be really fun! So, um, if you would like to, uh, support me, subscribing is a great way to do so, and at the end of the month, you'll get a special, special stream and also a coloring page that you can download for free. Um, also, uh, that if you were paying attention to my socials and possibly, uh, the announcements channel in the Discord today, uh, the 700 follower, uh, the follower celebration, uh, Draw This In Your Style is live. I posted it on my Twitter, my Instagram, and also in various Discords, so definitely go and check that out. Uh, uh, all you, it's, it's a, it is a challenge, but you don't have to participate, you don't have to, like, be too worried about the challenge unless you really, really, really want to be uh, to get a free commission from me. I will be pulling two winners from both my Instagram and my Twitter submissions uh, for the Draw This In Your Style challenge uh, and at, on July 11th. So uh, you have until July 11th to get your submission in, and then I'll be pulling two winners from both Instagram and Twitter, uh, and I will be uh, selecting some really cool uh, some win some winners and some really cool art that you guys are drawing. Uh, from the Straw This In Your Style, and you guys will get a free commission from me. Um, and I'm really, really excited about it. Um, yeah. I, I've been posting about it a lot today, so I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of tuckered out on talking about it. But you can go and check out the rules on my Twitter, you can go and check out the rules on my Instagram, and you can go and check out the rules on, um, my... In the Discord. Goodness. But... Uh, it is my witch o it is one of my witch OCs, and Ike actually kind of hit the nail on the head in one of the discords. He said that he liked the rose gold, uh, color palettes, and, um, that's her name. I decided that her name is Rose now, so. 
Here we go. There you go. This is the Draw This In the Style. I fervently drew this in three days. Uh, and it pro took me about eight hours <laughs> uh, in total. But uh, if you would like to try your hand drawing uh, my uh, Witch OC rose and submitting it on either Twitter or Instagram um, before July 11th, now is the time to do so. And honestly, it's just an absolutely amazing... This is honestly just a gift from me to you guys. Uh, and just a gift that keeps on giving because I'm just so humbled to have now 700 followers on Twitter and 200 followers on Instagram. So thank you all so, so much for all of your continued support. I love you all dearly, and I really, really appreciate you all. Thank you. Rose is such a good name for her. She's got definitely a very ro uh, rose and rose gold color palette. Hello, Blizzard Star! Ooh, you're playing some Final Fantasy full heart art? That sounds awesome. And thank you! I'm glad that you like my haircut. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm really feeling my haircut. Every... Every time I wash it, it just gets floofier, and I love it. A well-deserved following. Thank you, Hemonies. Also, welcome on in. How is how, Blizzard Star and Hemonies? How is your Tuesday going? Um, but that is all I will say on the draw this in your style. If you have any questions about it or uh, anything, uh, please let me know, um, and I will do my best to answer. But yeah, I realize I should probably put this in my uh, art reel. I'll do that. I'll do that for a Thursday stream. I'll do that for Thursday stream. But yes. Basically, all you have, if you want to go and check out uh, the rules and stuff on either my Instagram or Twitter, you can follow me at Brie Donnan. Just over there. Heck yeah. There's also uh, clicky links down below the stream as well. Anyways. And soon the mods will make a command, so it'll be much easier to find it. I'm on vacation this week, so it's going great. Yes! Congratulations on vacation! And, uh, with, and with that, I think, let's get into drawing the lover's card. And if you're just popping in and you did not hear my declaration at the beginning of the stream, we are finishing this today. I do not care how long it takes me. I'm hoping that it won't take me too long, but if it takes me long, I don't care. We are finishing this card today. It will not be on any other stream. This is the last stream it will be on. I am declaring it now. The next time we do Major Arcana, it will be a different card. Whew. And the next week, and the next week I'll make the same declaration of the Nine of Pentacles. We're finishing these cards. We're doing it. <laughs> once more until the brigade, dear friends, once more. <laughs> but welcome on in, everyone. How is everyone's Tuesday going? Oh, you made, did you, you already made the command? Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. There you go. You can find the uh, drama in your style right there. You can just check it out in the chat. My mods are on top of it. Whew. All right. So, this is what we're working on today. This is the lover's card. We, what we have left to do, uh, this, we, what we have left to do this stream is work on the, uh, the red string of fate, um, and, do, and work on the lighting, and work on the roots, and the grass. I believe in us. I know we can do this. And also the shading. But we can do this. I believe in us. <laughs> Ash is mere presence. She is the most responsible one of all of us. She's, take, she's taking the rest she deserves. She had zoomies two days ago and has been sleeping ever since. She's, she's doing, she's doing, uh, she's being the most responsible person on this stream. I believe you. I am, I, I believe this poll. <gasps> Heck yes! Sasha, Sasha Narcy from Amphibia. I will continue to have Bree draw my ships for, of three teen girls and live. You know what? I am happy to do it. I am happy to do it, Blizzard Star. Hey, Koala, welcome on in. How you doing today? Thank you. I am really loving this shortcut. I think this is what, uh, for, this is what my hair is gonna look like for quite a while in my life. Sosh and RC. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> um, I've also been really wanting to dye it pink, and now that the, now that I am fully vaccinated and things are opening up again, I might go, uh, to a salon. It's gonna cost a lot of money. But it might be worth it to go to a salon and professionally get my hair dyed pink.
with like all like the highlights and lowlights and all the things that make it look like real hair, but it'll be pink. You know, that vibe. Just gonna live my anime uh, girl dreams truly and completely. <laughs> I just have a friend bleach and dye my hair. I mean, I have never, I have never colored my hair myself or bleached it myself or bleached anyone's hair for that matter. So I, I don't feel like I am uh, <laughs> qualified to do so. That's how I do it. I do not trust Finn anywhere near my hair. He trusts me near- I cut his hair recently. I cut his hair recently. I do not trust him near my hair. He does not have a, a steady enough hand, I don't think. Or a sculptor's touch. <laughs> I'm doing blue next time. <gasps> Ooh, I'm excited to see it. You'll finally achieve full shoujo protagonist status at that point. Yes! I've been- I'm born to be a shoujo protagonist. I'm not really. I- I don't have enough confidence to be a shoujo protagonist. <laughs> they have a fuck around vibe when it comes to hair. I mean, yeah. Not that it's not that Finn has a fuck around vibe when it comes to hair. It's just that he doesn't have like an artistic touch, I guess. Which is why, over the like, honestly, ever since I, ever since my mom cut my hair at Christmas, not this, it was a little bit short, it was a little bit longer than this, uh, but ever since my mom cut my hair at Christmas and I, like, tidied it up, um, pretty much everyone in my life has been asking me to cut their hair, um, uh, I've been cutting, I've been cutting Daniel's hair since we moved in together, uh, during quarantine, and ever since that happened, uh, a lot of people were like, wow, you're actually pretty good at cutting hair, can you cut my hair? And so, I've cut my brother's hair, I cut my uh downstairs roommate's hair davy i cut their hair um and i've cut daniel's hair and i cut my hair and i helped cut my hair again so since before i had cut and before i had cut daniel's hair during quarantine i had never cut hair before and now i'm getting good at it <laughs> if you're good at sculpting you might be good at cutting hair because cutting hair reminds me a lot of sculpting. For you, given how much you know about Card Captor Soccer, like Card Captor Soccer universe, I'm still convinced that you aren't a uh, escape. <laughs> you aren't an escaped side character. Look, when you grow up, when you grow up, I mean, I'm I'm a hundred percent sure I have told this story on stream before, but I I grew up watching Cardcaptor Sakura. I learned how to read by reading the subtitles of Cardcaptor Sakura. I live and breathe Cardcaptor Sakura. <laughs> Recently, I've been watching a lot of anime again, and I've gotten to the point where sometimes I can tell when the subtitles are off. When I'm like, oh, that's not the actual word that they say. That's not the direct translation. And I'm like, how do I know that? I don't actually know Japanese. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, where is the brush? Where is my brush? What brush was I using? These are the questions. Hmm, I don't know. Let's do I wanna do the the, the blah, I don't know, let's see. I've been using Duolingo and now bad subs are really getting frustrating. <laughs> yeah, I mean they're not they they're not always bad. They always have like the vibe that they are saying, but it's not like the words that they are saying. I'm like, they didn't say that. <laughs> 
Hey, people that made this sub. Not what they said. <laughs> Did I read slash watch Subasa or Exholic Lynette? Yes. <laughs> I... It's, I, I, I fully read through Subasa when I was in elementary school, early middle school, and I have not picked it up since because it blew my f little tiny brain. I did not, I have not read Exholic, uh, but I have learned enough through context and just like research, um, that I've learned enough through context and research that I know quite a bit about it. Uh, but Subasa was wild was absolutely wild. Um, and I'm not entirely sure, I, I'm pretty sure all the stuff that I remember is true, but I don't remember in what order it happens. Uh, it's just wild. It's been a long time since I've uh, read that specific, uh, that story. But a lot of it has very wild implications for Cardcaptor Sakura. Also, no spoilers, Lynette. Jod hasn't finished Cardcaptor Sakura and doesn't know anything about Clow. I have a poster of Sub. I have a poster of Tsubasa. It was one of those I was downloading fan subs of the manga and the anime before more legal options were available. I. That was one of the uh, mangas I read. I, I started watching the anime because it had. Sakura and Sharon in it, of course. And then I realized it was wild, and the anime hadn't fully come out yet, so I started reading the manga by every week, uh, or every, and, like, by tracking when a new thing would, like, come. I would, like, order it on the, lib the public library website, and, uh, I would, yeah, I would order on the public library website, and every time a new one came in, I would legitimately pick it up off the shelf, read the whole thing, turn it back in, and then leave. Or, like, if I got a whole bunch at one point, I would, like, take them all off the shelf, go sit in the corner of the library, read them all, then turn them back in, and leave. <laughs> it was a wild time. Oh, yeah. A hundred percent Yuko's shop is a TARDIS. Have fun looking, Gemini. Also, hello, hello. Welcome on in. And geek outs, hello. How's your Tuesday going? Also, Lynette, how's your Tuesday going? I started to do the same thing with Spanish. I really, I really should probably start learning Japanese for real. It's always been something I've kind of wanted to do, but I've never done it. And I feel like I should. It's 93. How, what is the temperature? It is 95 here. So I feel you in it. I, sh full heart art. How do you like the Japanese Duolingo program? Because I've never been one, I've never dipped into the horrible green owl. But maybe I should. I wonder how fast I will pick it up just by the fact that I've watched anime my whole life. <laughs> Hideyoshi, hello! How's your Tuesday going? Oh, also, have a very good time lurking. I'm learning Spain Spanish, though, which is very different from other Spanish around the world. Yeah. If I was going to learn Spanish, I would probably learn um, the, the dialect of Spanish that is most, that is most spoken in uh, the U.S., because... That'd probably help me a lot more than Spain Spanish. <laughs> yeah, I kind of, I did a Tsubasa TED talk. When John was over at one point, when, uh, we were watching Cardcaptor Sakura, and he was like, how, how much is Tsubasa related to Cardcaptor Sakura? And I was like, so let me tell you. <laughs> But raining, so we'll get cool. Oh! Heck yeah! I'm glad it's raining! That's awesome! We haven't had rain since it got hot. How about during dinner currently? Ooh, what you making? Given that you listened so to so much Japanese as a child, you could probably pick it up easier as an adult. Probably. Probably. Alright. Stick 
my leggy out real far. <laughs> I can go grab the poster. I'm gonna go grab the poster. One second. I'm gonna go grab that Tsubasa poster. It's just, it's just in my living room. Tsubasa poster since I was like 10 years old. I have never hung it up and it has been severely crumpled. I've had this Tsubasa poster forever. <laughs> and weirdly enough, I don't know if I have any Cardcaptor Sakura posters. But yeah. This lighthearted poster does not really represent what the show is about in any way. I just pointing that out. This lighthearted poster where they're in a field of sunflowers, not representative of the actual content of the show. <laughs> Ugh, all right, put in the blanket. Duolingo is pretty great, but it's sort of just one tool. You'll definitely need more than it. Um, it's great to get started if you want to learn. I can send some research. Ooh, please do. I would love that, full heart art. I would honestly love that. <laughs> There's a point where I was watching enough Korean TV that I watched something for about 20 minutes before I realized the subs weren't on. Yeah, I've, de I've definitely done that before. I've 100% done that before. Like, sometimes when I'm watching, um, sometimes when I'm watching, uh, anime that I've watched a lot or, like, I've, I'm re-watching something that I've watched a lot, I will sometimes just forget to put the subs on, and I'm like, and I'm just like, oh, I know what's happening here, oh, hi, that's so funny, I understand all the jokes, and then, uh, someone, and then someone will, like, walk in and be like, how do you know what's going on? I'm like, oh, the subs aren't on, um, I just know this by heart. <laughs> Or I will, like, walk, like, sometimes when I'm, like, watching something that I, like, that is in English, I will, like, walk away while it's still running, and I'll hear it from, like, the bathroom or the kitchen or whatever, and I'll know what's going on. And I will have, I, I will do that sometimes with, uh, anime too, and I will know exactly what's going on and exactly which scene it is and all of that stuff, and I'm like, I watch too much anime. <laughs> Academy Spanish is understood everywhere, and most people will understand what you're saying, but there are subtle differences that make understanding easier to retain if you know them. Yeah. That's true. The, 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 the psychic library in Zubasa was absolutely gorgeous. Zubasa is an extremely... Zubasa is extremely a sci-fi and not a fantasy. Go twitching is so wild. Yeah. I in turn if turn does anyone's does anyone does anyone's brain also do this thing where when you are like ta if you're like if you're tasked to speak in another language, you have two like language like switches in your brain. Um, one is your native language, in my case, English, and the other one is every other language you know. And so, sometimes when I will, like, this happened a lot when I was in French class in high school and college, where I would, 
be tasked to like say something in French. And I could not for the life of me remember the French word for it, but I could I could immediately remember the Japanese or Spanish word for it. E even though I was in French, I was like No, I, I can't I can't just say a sentence that ha that has both French that is French, Japanese, and Spanish in it. That is impossible. I cannot do this. And not that I know a lot of Spanish, not that I know a lot of Spanish or a lot of Japanese, but like, those are languages that I have like, been, that have been in my brain at one point. And now that's, that's all, it's all in one, it's all there. It's all there in one part of my brain. Hi, I'm Alpha Geek, hello! How you doing? Welcome to the stream. How's your Tuesday going? Yup. And Orange, hello! How's your Tuesday going? Welcome on in. It's awful. <laughs> Some words are vastly different at Tripsy, yep, yes. I am doing good, Orange. I am... We're just talking about languages while I color this tree. I did that all the time when I was actively taking classes. It's annoying. I've lost marks on French quizzes because I fully answer half of the sentences in Spanish. I was always able to catch myself. I, was, I, I never submitted work that way, but it was truly a trip. never really been able to converse in any other language other than English. I I'm pretty good at reading French and sometimes a little bit like listening to French, but I am uh and I'm very good at listening to Japanese mainly because that's how I know what Japanese is. <laughs> um I cannot read Japanese for obvious reasons. Uh, because I'm not familiar with the alphabet in any way. Um, and I can sort of speak in Japanese, just if it's like me, basically I'm like a kanku when it comes to Japanese, I just repeat the things that I've heard. Um, French, I can kind of formulate sentences because I know how French works. Um... But yeah, I'm not very good at having a conversation in any, in any language. I'm pretty good at reading French, understanding bits and pieces of Spanish, sort of listening to French, and listening to Japanese, and everything else I absolutely shit at. <laughs> My Welsh final was just my prof asking me how finals week was going and if I had plans for the break, but oh Welsh. Nice. I, man, I don't remember what my, I don't remember what my French finals were like. It was, we had a specific, like, we had a specific thing to, to like, talk about, and we had to, like, come up with, like, a dialogue to say, and it was kind of like, you weren't really supposed to write a script for it, but I, I would always write a script for it because I, I was so so bad at like 
coming up with words conversationally that I was like, I have to have a script for this or else I will fully forget. My, my recommendation if you want to get better at uh, listening to French Koala is watching French TV or listening to French songs and seeing how many words you can make out and be like, oh, I know what they said in this moment, and then like going back and thinking about it. Because I, at one point in my French class, everyone got super, it, everyone got super into uh, French, mu uh, French music and... Um, we would listen to French music all the time, and it really helped my listening comprehension. I can, catch, I can catch the drift of a Spanish conversation if I'm listening. Sometimes the general vibe of a Japanese one from the anime I've seen. Anime. <laughs> Creating kenkus of us all. Are kenku, an, are, are kenku a, a Japanese? I think kenkus are Japanese too. Uh, un, 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 unintentional reference. Okay, yeah. They were inspired by Tengu. There we go. Okay. Brain. <laughs> I had to Google it. <laughs> yes, Tengu. There we go. I was like, I don't think it's actually pronounced Tengu. There we go. But the goal was to get into medieval Welsh, which meant you got access to the college manuscripts. I wasn't good enough to get into that class. I never tried I never tried too hard in my language classes. I knew that it wasn't my strong suit, and I knew that I uh, the language requirement would run out and I would be okay if I didn't take more language classes. Though I kind of regret it. I do really wish that I took the Japanese instead of French. I feel like I probably would have had more fun. Nadame Conte. I have not. I have not seen that show. Ooh. All right. You can definitely tell that they're two different things now, which is the vibe. There we go. Now I just got to blend these areas together to make it look like it's coming out of the thing. And then we're on our way. I'm just gonna get this. Wait, okay, sorry. I was kind of spacing out there for a second. It's about a music prodigy. Wait, maybe I have. She's a scholarship and concerned and learns French from mostly watching a dub of an anime she knows over and over. Huh! That's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool thing. I feel like I have heard of that. That's very, very cool. Mm -hmm. 
Oh boy. Not, not what I was going for. Hey, that blended actually very well. Wow, look at that. Look at that blend, though. Yes! Yes! Blend! Blend! Look at that! Oh yeah! that I did over here over the lines and then we will do our best we will <laughs> and then the roots will almost be done heck yeah not even an hour in look at us look at us oh my god that is an amazing reason to that is an amazing reason to go to a college. That's perfect. Man, I wish that I chose my college based on the the quality of their anime. <laughs> oh my god, that's good. That's very good. I, I didn't have, I wasn't in the anime club in my, in my, uh, college, though I was pretty good, I was pretty good at pirating things if I needed it, if I needed to, but, um, I, in the digital art club that I was in, a lot of people were super into anime just as much as I was, and it was very nice. A lot of people were drawing specifically because of anime, and I was like, you get me. You get me, Digital Art Club. Man, I miss those guys. I miss my Digital Art Club. Yes, Ash? <gasps> stretchies! It's stretchies time! Just in time to see that, John! <laughs> oh, fuck. I thought, I, th I, for a second when I first 
said I thought that was intentional as you, like, making a joke or something, and then you fully corrected yourself and it made it infinitely funnier. <laughs> oh, boy. And you're a mod on this channel, come on. Come on, man. Spell check, my guy. <laughs> nope, it's there forever. <laughs> <laughs> my high school didn't know what anime was except the nerd slash geeks and there wasn't any pop culture based clubs yeah there wasn't a lot of pop culture based clubs um in at my high school either if i if i remember correctly or maybe i was just an extreme introvert and i did not look i don't know But a lot of people knew what anime was. It had it had become a uh, normal thing, normal mainstream thing at that point. You were to be mocked. <laughs> there was some overlap with the Tater Pachi slash gaming folks, though. That's good. I'm glad. I mean, yeah. There's a lot of overlap in the communities of uh in the uh, communities of anime and TTRPGs and pretty much everything else. Um, it's, gosh, it's so nice. It's so nice to have community spaces now on the internet and in places in mainstream stuff that is just being happy and excited about the things that you enjoy. It's so nice. Only a regular shame. Ooh, orange, what you drawing? <laughs> Good, I'm glad we're roasting John now for his typo, as it should be. Ours would have in a marathon every Saturday, sort of like Toonami before Toonami. Um, and they had a concession area that was all Japanese candy and soda. That sounds so good! Oh, Oh, that sounds so good. Some Japanese candy and soda is fucking bonkers, and some of it is so delicious. Oh, I'm just so jealous. It's roasting John hours. <gasps> Yay! Another dark elf. That's awesome. Back to drawing. <laughs> Alright. I think it is time for us to draw this grass. I think it's drawing grass at time. Which we gotta which we gotta do. Mm -hmm. For the night. Alright, what brush should I use for the grass before? I am sincerely unsure. Is it this? Looks kind of like this, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. But I gotta clean up this. Can I not paint on this gray back here? Oh, it's a smudge brush. Well, okay. It wasn't this brush. It wasn't that brush either. Ah! What brush did I use? Is it this one? Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> you 
Yeah, when you're do when you do replies for when you do reply. <laughs> Thank you for the clip. <laughs> Thank you for the clip, Matt. Um, you went it on the horizon. <laughs> oh no. Um, but the uh, when you for weirdly in uh Twitch chat when you po when you like reply to like a thread of like replies. Like, you reply to something that was a reply to you. It just ats. In chat, it looks like you at yourself, which makes no sense. I don't know why Twitch does this. Oh well, I guess. Let's see if this is the brush. No, but it's not bad. Okay, what brush did I use? Was it that this one? Oh. It doesn't seem like it. Why is it blue? What the heck? What is this brush? What is this brush? Okay, I have this thing called New Softy. Is that the brush I used? No, it's not the brush I used. What brush did I use? Blair Pro? Why is that blue? Bristle Mixer Full. Looks kind of like it, maybe. Stupid with two O's. Maybe? It looks nice, but I don't think it's the brush. Chunky monkey. It doesn't look like it. Oh my gosh. What brush did I use? Chunky monkey variant. Dark hatcher? Nope. Nope. Oh, fuck. Come on. There we go. I think I'm just gonna be- I just- I think I'm just gonna not know. I'll just have to choose a brush. Maybe we do. Kyle's Ultimate Pastel Palooza. You know what? Good enough. They, yeah, the big texture brushes lag a whole bunch. Don't mind me, just slowly shading in this grass. With a weird texture, don't worry about it. Perfectly normal. Perfectly mo normal grass texture. I did in fact say Chunky Monkey. <laughs> eh, good enough. We're gonna call that good enough, I say. Okay, what's next? Totally grass, please believe me. <laughs> now we make a little bit of this palooza and we put it over the brown bits. To make it look like they're going into the ground. And then we take our beautiful, oh, that's too big. We take our beautiful scratch blend. And then we scratch blend the grass. Hacks. 
grass hacks. Oh, my eyes. Ooh, thank you, Full Heart Art. I will definitely be checking that out. I've, I've, I'm, I'm in, I've been in, Jesus. I've been in the need for, uh, some new brushes. So I very much appreciate that. Ugh. Fly. Nothing to see here perfectly. <laughs> thank you for the clip, John. They look like they're going in the ground now. Success. Absolute success. Alright. Um. Alright. Let's do the little, these little grass things. These little grass things. And then we will do the lighting. We're on our way. We're on our way, guys. Just doing the grass. Just doing that grass thing. Oh, not that grass thing, though. Sometimes when you have short hair, it's really nice and it doesn't get in your face. And then sometimes it gets in your face too much. Much more than long hair would. Which is wild. I very, very much enjoy my long, my short hair. But sometimes the little bits of it get stuck in my mouth. And this is very unexpected. Little tufts. I'm not entirely sure what this grass is honestly supposed to, you know, accomplish. If it's, like, real or not. But I feel like it's needed, so we are doing it. Time to go shorter, yeah. Just bald. Fully bald. I mean, I bet people that are bald have a much easier time drawing because their hair doesn't get mm -hmm. just flung, flung into their face. That must be very nice. Oh, 
Oh my. <laughs> what the heck kind of clip is that, John? All right. We have grass. Now it's time to do some shading, shall we? Oh, we're so close, guys! We might actually get, if we if we are able to do the lighting really, really fast, we might actually get to doing a quick doodle before the end of the stream today, because if we, this was, if this only took me about an hour to do, that, it will be very nice. We might get to a quick doodle today. Oh wait, nope. We still have to do the we still have to do the uh, the the red string of fate. Can't forget that. Can't forget the red string of fate. Never mind. We might not get to a quick doodle today, but we might also get to a quick doodle today. I don't know. Don't want to get anybody's hopes up. Where is the other strings? There. They are. I'm trying to think of things to talk about, but honestly, sadly, I do not have much going on right now. Other than the draw this in your style, which I'm really, really excited for to see what you guys do with it. I'm very, very excited about it. I can't wait to see what everyone does with it. And you don't have to participate if you don't want to in the draw this in your style. But if you do want to, I'm very excited to see it. It's going to be going on for a whole month, and I'm so excited. But what else? Do I have anything going on this week? Let's see. Let's see, do I have anything going on this week? Yesterday, what did I do? Honestly, just kind of la lazed around, which is very nice. Just kind of lazed around and uh, drew, finished up the uh, Draw This In Your Style drawing, and then played some Style Savvy, which was nice. And then, Today was wild. Just a lot of posting. Tomorrow, ooh, tomorrow is the finale of Mice and Murder, which I'm really, really excited about because we get to finally figure out what the heck's been going on. Though I am, sa I, though I am very sad that it's going to be ending. I re I've really, really enjoyed Mice and Murder. Um, and my mom will be coming over and we'll be, ooh, there she is. There's Rose. Um, my mom will be coming over and we're gonna be, uh, watching it together. And I'm really excited about that. We're gonna react, live react to the Mice and Murder finale together. Um. And then after that, I honestly have nothing else going on this week other than, like, work stuff. No other plans. <laughs> Which I guess is nice because last week, un unbeknownst to me, un unrealized by me, for like the last week and a half, I have been hanging out with people or have had to hang out with people that weren't the people that I lived with every day for like a week and a half, which turns out is bad for introverts like me. <laughs> I, I've been very, very tired for like the last week or so. I'm like, why am I so tired? And I'm like, oh, it's cause I've talked to people nonstop for days. And I, 
this is what happens when everyone gets vaccinated and it gets nice outside and everyone's like, let's hang out. And I'm like, okay. And then I forget that I'm an introvert. Oops. <laughs> Finally, back to my PC with dinner. That blanket and that dress. OMG. <laughs> Welcome back, geek outs. It's looking good. This is looking good. We're working on this red string of fate. I can't wait to watch the VODs. The VODs of Mice and Murder. I, I, for everyone, for anyone that's not watching Mice and Murder and has the ability to watch it uh, via dropout, I highly recommend it. It is a very, very good murder mystery. <laughs> oh, Blizzard Star, I wish I could help you. I really do. I really do wish I could help you, but alas... How to make someone else cook faster without you helping is a mystery to me. Oh yeah, you you posted about that, didn't you, Koala? I saw that post and I meant to react to it and I forgot. Oops. <laughs> It seemed really cool. I like- I really liked the art style. But yeah, the games that I've- the games that I've been playing recently is, um, I started playing Style Savvy again. If anyone knows what that is, it is a, uh, old Nintendo DS game that I, I got out my 3DS and I started playing Style Savvy again. It's honestly a game about a person who, uh, it's basically a glorified dress-up game and I love it. You are someone, you are a person that owns a boutique and you help people wear cool clothes. And that's about the game and it's great. I'm surprised I noticed the way that you just casually connect those lines and make them like perfect. It looks casual, but it is uh, from a lot of practice. Summer's. <laughs> I've, I've been playing, I've played every single style savvy game that's come out, uh, and there is rumors that there will be another one that is coming out on the Switch at the end of this month, and I'm very excited about it, if that is true. It might be an internet hoax, I don't know if it's true or not, but if it is, I am super excited. <laughs> I've been playing style savvy since I was like 10 years old. It's just a silly little game, but I love it so much. <laughs> oh my goodness! Hello, Raiders! Hair Fulu! Hello, everybody! Hello, Raiders! Hair Fulu and everyone else, welcome on in! It's so good to see you! It's been forever! How you doing? What has been up, my friend? Thank you so much for the raid! Yes, shout out to Hairthulu! Hairthulu's a longtime friend of the show and the channel! Everyone, please go follow Hairthulu if you're not already! 
How was your stream here, Thulu? Also, welcome on in, everybody. Um, for those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Bree. I am a digital artist here on Twitch. I have been, um, I've been streaming on Twitch for a while now, and I stream- I did! I did get a haircut! <gasps> oh, John, thank you so much for gifting this up to Hair Thulu! One more on that tally of our sub goal for this month. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <gasps> Explosion! I will sub snipe. Thank you. I well, well, yes. What were you doing? What were you playing? Outer, oh, Outer Worlds! Outer Worlds is good. Outer Worlds is very, very fun. Um, I, I watched a play, I watched Daniel and Miranda play through it here at my house, and it was awesome. It was very fun. I highly recommend that game to anyone that likes Fallout and also, uh, Space. Space. How far are you in Outer Worlds? <laughs> Fallout in space. Thank you so much for the sub snub 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 sub snipe. There we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you, John. I really appreciate it. And also, everyone that, just came, that came in with the raid, welcome on in. Welcome to the brigade. I am very, very happy to have you. Um, if you want to, if you, if you're just gonna be lurking or you're gonna be hanging out or whatever, I'm so happy to have you. Thank you for being here. We're working on uh, the lovers card. We've been working on a community tarot deck for a few months now, and uh, we're uh, we just got to the lovers card, and we're finishing it up today. I promise you that. We are finishing it up today. Here's what it looks like in all its glory. Snub siping. Snub siping. Just got to the groundbreaker. Yes. Oh, so you're at the very beginning. No, wait. Halfway. You're well, not halfway through. Groundbreaker is the big ship. Yes. At that, the groundbreaker is a great ship. Anyways, it's been a bit since I played this game. No, please, Hair Thulu. Thank you so much for the raid. Everyone, can we get another shout out and chat for Hair Thulu? Go get some food, Hair Thulu. Have a good lurk. Yeah, a little further in than the very beginning. Yes. You finished your first thing. You're in chapter two. Thank you so much for the raid. I hope you have a very good rest of your night, and please go get food. Be responsible and eat, my friend. I've decided to make this red string of fate look more like magic rather than flowers. Just because it's a little easier to draw. <gasps> Did you sneeze, Ash? So cute. <laughs> Don't eat a friend. Yes, we are right around the half mark. I, uh, I think after we finish these, this red string of fate, I will go and, uh, go get some more water and use the restroom. But. Until then, I'm gonna finish up this red string of fate. Because it's cute and I want to finish it.
And then when we then when I come back, we can do the lighting. Okay. Phone, please stop buzzing. Look at it. I know it did. It's been buzzing nonstop. I I signed up. Uh, I signed up for a uh, an app for Daniel on my phone. Uh, and every time there is like, I have I have the MLB app on my phone now, which I really need to delete. But I I signed up for it for Daniel at one point, and uh, I, every time there is an update about a baseball game happening. Um, I get a notification. <laughs> and that is what's been the buzzing. Damn, they're so cute! This is a very good lover's card. I mean, I love, I love our tarot deck a lot because it, it has a lot of the it has a lot of the elements of sort of like a traditional tarot deck and then just so much other very cool symbology because like it's all inspired by everybody else in the community and it's not just about like a theoretical thought process of what cards mean and more of like what do they mean to you and I that's what I really love about this deck is that it's such it's so personal even though it is a community deck and I love it so much. Okay, we're gonna do something a little crazy. Bear with me. We're gonna do something kind of fun. Just a little bit of coloring. Just a little bit of coloring to all the flowers. Just a little bit. Their string is still red, but everything else has a little bit of pink to it. <gasps> yes, go eat. Go go satisfy that tum, Blizzard Star. Have a good t have a good time lurking.
Yes. So cute. All right. We've got the red string of fate. Now. Let us. Now let's look at all of the. All of the lighting we have yet to accomplish. And what we will do when we come back from break. Look at all that lighting. We've got it. All we gotta do is just clean it up when we come back from break after I use the restroom. So everyone, take this time. Go get some noms like Blizzard Star is doing. Go use the restroom. Go get some more water. Go get a snack. I will see you all in like five minutes. Don't go anywhere. And we'll finish up this card. My hair is stuck. <laughs> okay. Now I'm leaving. I will see you all in like five minutes. Bye-bye! <laughs> Buck! And Ash is gone! <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Come on! I just sat down. Fine. I guess she's leaving. How dare she? It will no longer be a responsible stream. Ash is no longer here. I... I cannot condone. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Wait, are you guys... Wait, hold on! John! Hold on! <laughs> what the fuck? <gasps> you made a Crocs? What are you doing? Hold on! <laughs> Hold on! Drawing on paws! What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing Crocs? What? No! What? Crocs exposed? Look, lit- <sighs> Alright, you wanna hear a fun story about these Crocs? You wanna hear a fun story about these Crocs? My dad is correct. Alright. Fully derailing everything. These are my prom Crocs. Welcome to my Crocs. As you can see, there is paint on the bottom of them because I wore them while painting my room- Well, living room. These are my prom Crocs. I wore these to prom. <laughs> and so did literally everyone else in my class. So, uh, a fun thing happened in, uh, in the year 2016. Uh, <laughs> uh, so did uh, everyone else in my class. In 2016, we, uh, everyone wore Crocs to prom. It was a thing. So, we're just gonna show off my Crocs while I tell this story. So, <laughs> uh, I was friends with, uh, some lovely people in high school, uh, who I will not name publicly, but they were absolutely wonderful, and, uh, as a joke in our friend group, uh, two of them said that they were going to, uh, wear Crocs to prom, just for fun, because why not? And, uh, this became a thing they talked about so regularly that a lot of other people, uh, like, caught on to it, and it wasn't just a fun thing. And it was- then it wasn't just, like, a fun thing that our friend group was gonna do. Uh, it was a thing that a lot more people were going to do. And so they, like, had made posters and hung them up around school, and was eventually interviewed, uh, by- uh, was eventually interviewed by, uh, the school newspaper at my high school. And the school newspaper uh, not only printed out a newspaper, but also posted articles online. And Crocs saw it. <laughs> and Crocs saw it. And contacted the Crocs to Prom Facebook group that my friends had made, the school newspaper, and also the school, and asked, uh... <laughs> And basically asked slash told that they were going to send a shit ton of Crocs so everyone that went to prom that year could wear Crocs to prom. <laughs> For free. <laughs> they sent us a hundreds, two hundred, I don't remember how many hundreds. We had a pretty big class. A lot of Crocs were sent to us. And so the... Uh, the, uh, the moment that you walked into the prom, 
uh, there was a table that a f- bunch of su- chaperones to the prom was manning, and you would go up to the table, you would give them your shoe size, and then you would ha- and they would hand you Crocs. These pink ones just so happened to be, it, the like, there wasn't, like, color variation for each, like, there was a different color for each size. And these pink ones just so happened to be the, in my size. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, uh, you would, they just, you would just wear Crocs to prom, so everyone that, you know, everyone, you know, would go take their prom pictures in their high heels or whatever and all of their, uh, horrible, like, shoes that you wouldn't want to stand around in forever, and since it was socially acceptable to wear Crocs on the dance floor now, literally everyone, literally everyone, eventually was wearing Crocs in the, on the dance floor, because if you were like, oh, I want to keep the image up of my prom dress and wear heels, you would get to the point where, like, okay, I need to take my shoes off, I'm gonna go get some Crocs. So there was definitely a moment where everyone where was, uh, it is not uncomfortable. These are extremely comfortable. They are extremely comfortable. Uh, but, yes. So everyone at my high school wore Crocs to prom. It was, uh, they were gifted to us by Crocs for free, and we all wore them to prom. Uh, and yeah, so that is my Crocs to prom story. It was started by two of my friends in high school, uh, that was going to be just a joke that they were going to do, um, and and it turned into a full-fledged thing where everyone at my high school wore Crocs to prom. And they, these are the only Crocs I own, and they are my prom Crocs, and they're very important to me. (laughs) They, uh, have, they are my... The shoes that I wear indoors when I want to wear shoes, and they are the shoes that I use for painting, and they are the shoes that I put on just, you know, if I, in case I don't want to wear, like, other shoes. These are my slip-on shoes that I go and I do yard work in. So that is why I am wearing them, because right before the stream started, I went outside and watered the plants, and I didn't take the shoot my Crocs off, uh, and I didn't take my Crocs off to, uh, come and stream. So that is why I'm wearing them. But I'm glad that you guys now all know that I have prom Crocs. (laughs) I have had them in my life since 2016, and they're the best thing I own. (laughs) They're my favorite shoes. (laughs) That's not true. But they're very fun. Anyways. (laughs) That is my Crocs to prom story. And yes, both of my parents have guessed correctly that these were my prom Crocs. (laughs) It became kind of a lovely thing where a lot of, and also a lot of people in, like, the Twin Cities area where I went to high school, um, knew about this thing was happening specifically for my high school. And so in college sometimes, when I told them what high school I was from, they, uh, asked if I took part in this Crocs to Prob thing. And I very proudly told them that I was friends with the people that started it. And it was great. (laughs) My story. <laughs> it's been, it, it has since been a thing that many people have forgotten about, but for the first, uh, but for the first, uh, few, uh, months after that happened in my, uh, college career, it was great. Look at that, come the man. Breeze prop cracks have danced through two times. <laughs> ah. It got on the local news. Yep. It was a fun, it was a fun thing we did. <laughs> if, in our prom photo, me and Daniel's prom photo, in the prom photo, Daniel is also wearing Crocs. He, he wore the Crocs the entire time. And, I mean, they're just shoes. And it's very great. And I love it. I love looking at a prom photo and being like, ah, Crocs, heck yeah. So there we go. That is my Crocs to prom story. They're actually very comfortable. These, uh, they, like, are very bendable. See, there's just a whole bunch of paint on them now. Because I painted in them. But yes, 
They're very bendable and extremely comfortable. Crocs are honestly a very nice, just outdoor shoe. <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> Have fun obtaining food, Koala. They're super comfy. <laughs> They're super comfy. They are very breathable and extremely durable. Crocs are not, they're hilarious, but they're honestly not a bad product. <laughs> it's so funny that I've never talked about this. There's, oh man, my school days, some really fun things happened. This story feels like a briefing. Like I had no idea, but after hearing it 100%, this was amazing. <laughs> Truly chaotic in the best, most wholesome ways. I only wish the photo booth photos from my prom had my Crocs in them. I have- there was a photo booth at my prom, and me and my friends spent most of our time there. <laughs> I'm therefore if, if I have to wear boots or shoes, we better be doing something awesome or I'm not happy. Yeah, usually my house I try to go barefoot, but if I don't go barefoot, I wear my Crocs. Um, and if I'm gonna go- I rarely ever wear my Crocs out. Mainly just because they've just become my house shoe at this point, but sometimes- I'm sure in the past few months, I'm sure when I've just been too lazy to do anything to make myself look presentable, I have left my house in sweatpants, a sweatshirt, and Crocs to go to the post office. That sounds so much better than the gals having to take off the heels and dance barefoot. Exactly! It was- it was perfect! I've been over several times, but it, oh, I was, but I was waiting for the right moment to review about the Crocs. I'm glad it was on stream. And then you got this really good story! Yeah, yeah, they look stupid is why people make fun of them, a hundred percent. And I understand why that they look stupid, but also they're great. <laughs> Alright, let's get, let's get, let's get back to drawing. Let's get us back to drawing because it was a great story, thank you. <laughs> Presenter she in a nutshell, thank you. I am glad you guys enjoyed it. Let's get back to drawing, but I, if anyone has any more questions about my footwear or things that happened in high school, lay it on me. <laughs> I don't know how many more high school stories I have like that, but I'm sure there are some. I have some fun high school stories that aren't about me. <laughs> Or just about people that I went to high school with. <laughs> Those are always good. <laughs> Mostly a lot of the, like, the really funny ones are the- mostly a lot of the really funny ones are the ones that, like, happened towards the end of the year when everyone got restless energy, you know? I was never- I was sadly never a part of, uh, and only sadly because I didn't get to go on field trips. And not sadly because I am sucky at playing instruments. But I never got to go on the band trips. Even though literally all of my friends were in band. I'm pretty sure 90% of my friends were in band. My boyfriend was in band. All of my close friends was in band. 
And whenever they left to go on the band trip every year, I was alone for a week. <laughs> I had to eat lunch by myself. <laughs> yes, I was the honorary band kid. The band teacher knew who I was. I was in band quite often. I did an ethnography on band. I was an honorary band kid. I just could not play an instrument for the life of me. The band teacher at one point just stopped batting an eye whenever I was in the band room on my free period. <laughs> Yes, I was with the band. <laughs> what would I want to play? I mean, I'd want to be good at singing. I mean, not that I'm super bad at singing, but I'm definitely not choir material. Though, I don't want to play any, like, wind instrument or brass instrument. So I would probably be in percussion. If I was in band, I probably would be in percussion. Which is what, uh, which is what my old, one of my old roommates, Henry, was in. He was in percussion. He said it was very easy. <laughs> I had considered it. But I didn't want to audition <laughs> and I realized and I realized too late in high school that all of my friends were in band uh, when they were all in like the higher bands that you would have to like audition to get into uh, and I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I also went to literally every band concert. I was I was at every band concert with my with my like two friends that weren't in band. <laughs> it was me and like two other people that weren't in band that was friends with everyone else in band. And we sat and cheered everyone on. <laughs> that is extremely tragic, geek outs, jeez. Yeah, strings. I used to play the guitar when I was really young, but I got super bored of it. I think playing the drums would be really fun. I don't I don't want to have to think about I don't want to have to think about all the different places my fingers have to go to create one note or one specific chord. I'd rather just smack a drum in a good way. <laughs> Due to people's schedules, I get to hand out diplomas at the same school I graduated from 30 years ago tonight, and it's surreal. Whoa! That's very cool, Gemini. That is very surreal, but very cool. Hand out those diplomas. I know what a drum set looks like. And it's a lot of work. I do understand that. But the, the, the I don't know. <laughs> I 
I am not musical. I'm not in a musically inclined person. There was a reason I was not in band. Yes, I would go. I would. I would play the triangle. I. I am that classic person that is super bad at music and just waits for the one thing and goes ting, and then that's all I do for the entire song. I'm good. That's good. That's me. <laughs> But that's still very, very cool. That is still super cool, Gemini. I was pretty good at singing when I was a child. I was pretty good at singing when I was a child, but I don't know. Once I stopped being able to do soprano, I uh, I got worse. And also, not a lot of people really expect much of you as a child. Thank you for the clip, Hemonies. Thank you. Man, I miss karaoke, too. Karaoke is a lot of fun. Karaoke is a lot. Quote of the day! <laughs> I miss... What I really, really miss is cast parties. Cast parties are so much fun. There was a yearly cast party that I went to, even though I hadn't been in a play for a very long time, and... That hasn't had- I haven't been able to go to that cast party in a long, long time, and I'm very sad about it. Partially because of COVID, partially because of other reasons, and I, it was so much fun. I miss cast parties. I'm very, yeah, it's true. I'm very quotable. Sometimes I say things and then I don't realize that I say them and then I'm like, well, that's in the universe now. We used to do so much karaoke, we used to do so much karaoke at cast parties and it was so good. Granted, they were all, like, they were all, like, show tunes and stuff. But still, it was great. Haha, <laughs> lame. Hey, Danny, I didn't do extracurriculars. I did extracurriculars. Okay, that's not true. I did do extracurriculars two years in a row. Because I was on the golf team. But that barely counts. I was pretty much doing golf for maybe, like, two hours a day for like two months out of the year. And by and what I mean by doing golf is 
I hit the ball a few times, and then I just talked to people because no one actually played golf in golf. That, I didn't do anything. Truly, I had no extracurriculars. Which is why I chose golf. For college. <laughs> so I could get into college. Because they're like, you have to have extracurriculars. I'm like, oh shit, I've done nothing with my life. Karaoke is best. Karaoke is best when no one is trying to do it well. My favorite memory is a group shouting at the lyrics to "Birdhouse in Your Soul." That sounds amazing. I love it when people are trying not, are just being like, you know what? We're just gonna have fun and we're just gonna shout the lyrics, and it's the best. Yeah, I lettered in golf twice, and not once did I go to a competition. Never in my life did I get go to a competition. But the golf coach just really liked everyone on the golf team, so everyone lettered two times uh, every year. And it was very sweet. Sometimes people would go to competitions. There wasn't a lot of competitions, but sometimes people would go to competitions. I never went to a competition, and I lettered. <laughs> it was a good choice to do golf as an extracurricular. <laughs> For six hours until I fell asleep. I mean... You know, that is what I did for my sophomore and freshman years in high school, Danny, so I feel you. <laughs> I just wanted to shriek wicked lyrics in my falsetto with someone. Well, I don't know the lyrics to Wicked. I could sh I could shriek some uh, some Six the Musical. I've listened to Six the Musical constantly for months. <laughs> Yes, that was very funny when we did that. We, that was very, very funny when we did that, Dad. I only did tech for theater, but it was my elective, so it was technically for credit. I was in photojournalism to save money, so budget. the teacher had to double as yearbook staff, so that was also for credit. I didn't do anything outside of that. I mean, that's two more things than I did, so. Yeah, I went... I went to dances. I went, I think... I didn't go to every dance, but I went to a lot of the dances. I went to a lot of the dances, and I went to all of the band performances, and I went to a few of the, I went to a few of the uh, theater performances. dances that I regret it. <laughs> oh gosh, my hair. It's chill. Oh, it's not gonna chill. There are definitely some dances that I regret going to. Homecoming was never fun. I went to Sadie's every year because that one was actually very fun because it kind of, it, it doubled as, like, a Halloween dance, where we would, it wasn't really even, like, a dance. It was just basically a whole bunch of people piled into a bus with costumes on, and, uh, yeah, it was just a whole bunch of people piled into a bus with costumes on, and also, welcome back, Kala. Um, and you would basically just go to a barn outdoors, and it, it was just a barn and the only bathrooms were porta potties, and they would play hoedown music, and you could dance if you wanted to, but really no one did. And you could like buy hot chocolate, and then there was a hay ride, and then there was there was a comp other a different competition, but it was mostly just hanging out in costumes in a barn doing hay rides. Oh, 
the one rule is that whoever you went with, you had to hold their hand the entire time. And if your hands got broken apart, you had to kiss, I think? Or something else happened. I don't remember. Like, you could go to Sadie's without, like, you could go to Sadie's without doing, without, like, a date or anything like that. But if you did go to it with a date, that was a thing. It was weird. Anyways. <laughs> it was an interesting time. It was, a, it was honestly just a fun excuse for friends to haze each other. I also hear that in your voice. Sadie's was a good time. I always went to Sadie's. Sometimes I would go to Sweethearts, but not really. Sometimes I would go to Sweethearts, but sometimes I wouldn't. It was kind of boring, but it had a lot of chocolate. That was another reason to go. A lot of chocolate. Free food. Technically you had to pay to go to the dance, but free food at the dance. And then I went to prom. There Was there another spring dance? Or was it just prom? The dances that I remember were Homecoming, Sadie's, Sweethearts, Prom. If I remember correctly.
I had gone to, like, school with the same people for, like, a very long time. And I... Even if I wasn't cool, everyone knew who I was, if that makes any sense. And... Like... The other Mark was a cool, I'm shocked. Yeah. Everyone, like, everyone knew who I was. And so, like, any time you, like, did something embarrassing throughout, like, all of your school life, even if you weren't, like, cool or popular or whatever, people would still, like, know who you were and, like, if for whatever reason you are in a situation with these people that you've known forever and they're, like, the popular kids or whatever... And they're like, hey, remember that, f like, they never did it out of, like, malice and whatever. Like, hey, remember that funny time this, this thing happened? And then, like, you're like, oh, yeah, these people have known me my entire life. And that is extremely scary and worrying. So I was very self-conscious <laughs> about being too weird. And then in college, I didn't know anybody, except for, like, a few people that, uh, a few people that I, like, kept in touch with. And it was so nice. I could be myself. I also was just the kind of person, and still am a little bit of just... The kind of person that just wants everyone to like them all the time. So. And only in my adult years have I grown out of that a little bit. Not fully. I'm, I'm still an entertainer on the internet. But. <laughs> you know. Those types of vibes. <laughs> yeah, I wish I was at your level, Danny, where I had accepted that I was always going to be too weird and that uh, I should stop caring. I was not that mature. I was not that mature as a child in high school. Alright, it's time for the lighting! Bow, 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 bow. This is mostly just going to be a lot of erasing again. It always looks so cool when it's, like, done, but, like... But, like, when you're kind of drawing it, it is a little boring. The, light, the lighting aspect is always so fun, but it also is a little bit boring. So I understand. Very, I also had, like, a very big high school, but also all, all, the bigness of the high school was full of people I had known my whole life, which is a weird aspect of it. So there was sometimes, like, they're, like, you know, in freshman year, whatever, like, you know, the schools merged into a, like, a much larger class in high school, and so, like, there was a lot of new people to meet and stuff, and I wanted to meet a whole bunch of new people and things, and that was great, but also... I don't know. It was a weird vibe. It was very weird. It was a mix of people that I did not know at all, 
who I became really good friends with or a mix of people that I had known my entire life and was really weird about being weird in front of. Because, like, maybe it's just because all of the popular people at my school were people that I had went to middle school with. <laughs> and none of the popular people were new people. Really. There were some new people that were popular, but a majority of them were people that I had went to middle school with. <laughs> So it was always, like, the vibe of, like, oh, yeah, that's that popular person who I know this and this about. And me having no ex known exactly who these people are since I was five years old. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, one of the popular people was the per the lady that, the, the girl that got burnt in Belize. Like, I know who these people are. <laughs> Alright, well, you're just stronger than me, Danny. You're stronger than me. And, like, the popular pur pe purples. The popular purples weren't mean or anything. It was just sort of like the vibe of. I want people to like me. <laughs> I've been shot for police, girl. <laughs> I was just oblivious, can't tell. Yeah. I mean, the fr- I don't know. I guess- Maybe that was the difference in our high schools. There wasn't a clear, hard line between friend groups, if that makes any sense. There was definitely people we're more close with, but there wasn't a clear line in friend groups, I guess. Like, people would, the friend, the friend groups would shift all of the time. Yeah, I think that's sort of what it was, what the vibe was. It was like, everyone knew who I was, but I wasn't popular. <laughs> The being perceived is what I didn't like. Being known. <laughs> and feeling like you had to keep up a brand from... Since... from middle school to now. Popular and being cool are two different things. Okay! Now, are we done? Did I forget anything? Let's find out.
right, just gonna fix up the general lighting. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that lighting. Oh my goodness. Gorgeous. And pencils down, everybody. Save and pencils down. We have completed the lover's card. I have fully decided that I'm not even going to sound like an air horn anymore. <laughs> Ta da! It is the lover's card. Look at that blanket. Look at that pose. Look at those red strings. Look at those flowers. Look at the painting. We finished a card! Zorm! Zorm count a hundred! Oh my gosh! A hundred Zorms! Thor formed the blanket and the roots is everything. It's very cute. It's very cute. Woohoo! We did it! <laughs> Clip those dabs. <laughs> Hundreds of arms upon completion feels perfect! We did it, everybody! And we've ended at exactly- and we've finished it at exactly 7.30. I know we- I know we started late today, but we ended on time. This is a productivity win. Yes. Yes! Productivity win! <laughs> Now, we could go for another 30 minutes, uh, responsible stream. Responsible stream! Now, we could go for another 30 minutes, or we could... Yes. Or we could go raid. And I have an idea of who to raid. With a break! With a break! And I have an idea of who to raid. Be I know we raided this person pretty f pretty recently, but I'm just gonna double check that he, he's, yeah, he's still alive. But, if I'm not mistaken, um, he's drawing my draw this in your style. I'm waiting for this ad to go away one sec. Come on, Ed. I really don't care about the new crispy chicken sandwich at McDonald's. Yep. 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 He is working on my draw this in your style. And I know it is a trap. I know it is a trap. It's not a trap. I know it's like, hey, I don't know. But it's cool and I want to go see him work on it. Like, you know, in, I think Ashley's Discord was like, I know what I'm doing on stream today. And I was like, you fucking... You crazy man, and he's still doing it, and I'm- we're gonna raid him! Whew! He's working on my draw this in your style! Thank you guys so much for coming to the stream! Uh, everyone please follow- follow me to, uh, Ike's channel. Uh, Ikeman here on Twitch is, uh, working on, uh, the draw this in your style challenge, and it's looking so good. I am really, really excited about it. You should all definitely come. Uh, and uh, join the raid with me. Ike is an absolutely amazing artist, and uh, I cannot wait to see what he does with my Draw This In This Style. If you don't know what I'm referring to, um, my Draw This In Your Style is a Draw This In Your Style challenge, 
uh, in celebration of hitting 700 followers on my Twitter and 200 followers on my Instagram. Um, I posted a Draw This In Your Style um, art piece. This one. Oh, you can't see it. came up on the wrong screen. This one. Uh, her name is Rose. She is one of my witch OCs, and I love her to bits. Uh, if you would like to participate in the Draw This In Your Style challenge, all you have to do is draw her in your style and post it on either uh, Twitter or Instagram, whichever you feel, uh, whichever you prefer. Um, I am going to be, uh, on June, on July 11th, I'm going to be, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to be, uh, Pu uh, pulling uh, winners randomly from all of the submissions that you guys that everyone posts. I will ch choose two winners from Instagram and two winners two winners from Twitter, and uh, those four people will be getting free commissions from me. So yeah, uh, if you'd like to participate in the Draw in Your Style, you have about a month to submit. Uh, it, it, the, it everything is due on July 11th, and if you would like to just keep working on it past that date and don't care about the challenge and just want to keep working on it, that's also totally fine. Uh, but that is the challenge uh, deadline. Um, so yeah, that is that is a thing that's happening and I'm really excited about it and we're gonna go Ray Dyke. Okay. Also, thank you all so much for coming to the stream. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I had a great time. We finished a tarot, car tarot card. We are responsible art streamers today. I ate food, I watered plants, I talked about my Crocs. We finished the lover's card and guess what? Next week we are finishing the Nine of Pentacles. We're going to do it. You've heard it here first, folks. It is a week in advance guarantee. We are finishing two tarot cards in a row on this channel. And in the next streams, we're going to start two new ones. And I'm very excited about it. So definitely tune in to next Tarot Tuesday if you want to check out the end of Nine of Pentacles. And then check out the following Tarot Tuesdays to check out the new cards. Um, and then tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, Thursday, we are finishing up um, our mermaid uh, draw along that was a, a sub goal from last month. So definitely come and hang, uh, check it, check it out t on Thursday. We're going to be doing things, uh, working on the background, finishing up the glow aspect of everything. And yes, subscribe if you are, if you are able, if you are able and like my content and want to support me, subscribing is a great way to do so. And if you do so, uh, we are raising, uh, 75, we are raising subs. Uh, if we hit 75, uh, subs by June 22nd, uh, I will be drawing a coloring page on the last Saturday stream of the month. We're going to be working on a coloring page, which, um, when it is done, will be free to download on my Gumroad for everyone to color however they would like. So, yeah. Uh, if you would like to subscribe, please do so, and now's a great time to do it. Hell yeah. Uh, SP in the studio in March. Hell yes. There's a lot of good things happening right now. A lot of really cool content is out, so definitely... Um, also, if you are not, uh, following me on Twitter or Instagram and would like to, and li would like to check out the rules for the Draw This In Your Style there, you can follow me at Brie Donnan on either Instagram or Twitter, and uh, yeah. That's all I've got at the end of the stream. Thank you all so much for coming. I am excited to see what Ike, uh, has done with my Draw This In Your Style. I will see you all on Thursday, and I hope you all have a great rest of your night. Bye!